I didn't have the chance to make the spiritual strength video yet, so I figured I'll make it now. I'm at the baggage claim at LaGuardia. I probably have a few minutes. We'll go through it right now for spiritual strength. So I just read, or just listened to, True Devotion to Mary, which was excellent. A spiritual classic by St. Louis de Montfort, um, talking about giving ourselves in the manner of a slave to the Blessed Mother. And we're doing that so she could bring us directly to Christ. Right, the last words Mary says in the Bible is do whatever he tells you. And the he she's referring to, of course, is the Savior, to Jesus. So, great app that you could get for your phone is iPieta, iPieta, and that has a lot of spiritual classics on the Bible. It ha it's just absolutely loaded. Uh, prayers, Latin, Bible commentary, a whole bunch of stuff. I keep glancing over because I'm getting my, I'm getting my baggage any second now. A true devotion to Jesus through Mary. And the idea is you want to be doing ever. It's a renewal of it. In a sense, it's a renewal of your baptismal promises. You see a lot of people now doing that. They're, they're kind of getting baptized again, which we don't believe in. We only believe in one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. But um, I think there's something in people that, that yearns for uh, making a volitional decision. Like I'm making the choice to be baptized. Now, of course... Um, you know, we know that it's it's valid when our parents and our godparents make that decision for us. But there's something about the adult that wants to dedicate themselves by their own words. And that's where the consecration comes in because you can't get baptized again. So the idea is you're, you're renewing that consecration that you were set apart and that you were made holy for God. But it's all done in Mary because Jesus was in Mary for nine months. Also, Jesus remained, before his public ministry, he remained home with Mary for 30 years. So everything that Jesus did, pretty much everything he did was with Mary. She was there during his birth. Obviously, she gave birth to him. And obviously, the birth of the church, the mystical body of Christ, Mary was there too. So we give ourselves to Mary as a slave. So we do everything through Mary, with Mary, in Mary, and for Mary so she could bring us to, with, through and for Christ. So it's always with Jesus, or with Mary, to Jesus. I think this is my bag. Yes, it is. That's one. One for one. Okay, so true devotion to Mary. Make sure you read it and start looking into the 33-day consecration to Jesus through Mary, where you give yourself entirely all of your, not only your, not only your, um, you know, yourself, obviously, as a person, um, all the goods and all your exterior goods, but most importantly, all your internal goods, everything inside you is for mary that is um so she so basically all of your prayers everything all the good merits you give them to her so it's no longer like when you pray now she's going to take them and she's going to distribute them like a really good investor and that's that's how you invest my friends in the spiritual world you don't want to do the investing on your own just like the best investors in the world they have teams they're they they're strategic you want to be with good financial planner, good investor. Well, it's the same thing. You want to be with a good investor in the spiritual life? Get with the Blessed Mother because she's she compounds it. She brings everything to the Lord. Uh, good enough. My bag's one of these up here. True devotion to Mary. Get the IPETA app and consecrate yourself entirely to Jesus through Mary. God bless you and your family.